They must champion the cause of people who did not have a voice. Tonight, memorials continue for broadcaster and community activist Amos Brown. He passed away Friday at the age of 64. Good evening, I'm Jenny Runovich. All across the state, even across the country, people have been sharing their memories of a man who wasn't afraid to speak his mind and ask tough questions. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon tonight on Brown's impact as a mentor. For many years, this is where the Amos Brown radio show has been broadcast. The show tackling many important community issues with guests ranging from celebrities, community leaders, all the way down to including everyday people. This is also where important relationships have been formed. I worked uh, for WTLC. That's where now IMPD chaplain David Cody first met Amos Brown back in 1988. He was a, a stickler for details. If it wasn't right, you had to do it over. If it wasn't typed right, if the punctuation was wrong, if the tenor was wrong, uh, he made you do it over. So it wasn't fun all the time working with Amos, but it taught me to pay attention to the details. The two went from coworkers to friends, and Amos became his mentor. Amos cared about people at the heart. Um, it didn't matter who you were. You could be the governor and you could be a homeless person on the street and Amos would talk to you and he would talk to you, not at you, he wouldn't bypass you. In addition to his tireless community work, his afternoons with Amos were a daily staple from 1 to 3 p.m. When you tar someone with a broad brush. The 64-year-old passed away suddenly and unexpectedly while visiting family in Chicago. He was inducted into the Indiana Broadcasters Hall of Fame in 2007, but his work stretched beyond the microphone. Communities are held up by pillars, um, and when you take a pillar out of a structure, it weakens the entire structure until you get something as strong back in its place. Um, it'll take 10 people to replace an Amos Brown uh, because he had tentacles in every part of the community. Um, Amos was tenacious. Amos was a bulldog um, for people uh, who didn't have a voice. And if you were treating somebody wrong and Amos found out about it, you were going to be on the wrong side. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And we also invite you to share your memories of Amos Brown on WTHR.com. Funeral arrangements are still pending.